All right, time to try 15 different types of goldfish. Now, if you're not familiar with, like, with what goldfish are, they are uh, snack crackers shaped like goldfish, and also they kind of aren't very good. So I'm not necessarily thinking that this one is going to be hard to do because they're so small, but it's going to be boring, I think, in terms of flavor, and I'm going to be pretty pissed if they're all boring. Uh, so let's just dive into the original. Uh, which, why would you ever buy original goldfish? Some of them have sort of these demented smiles on them as they sail into your mouth into oblivion. Uh, okay. These are the most pointless thing I've ever eaten. Why do you, why would you ever get these? These make like a saltine cracker. Tastes like a Dorito laced with cocaine in comparison. These are so whatever. They are just crackers with a little bit of salt. Pointless! Well, here's the cheddar flavor uh, with 100% real cheese. You can see they're orange. These are slightly better than original, only slightly though. If you compare this to Cheez-Its, Cheez-Its are like 1,000 times more flavorful than these. These are like if you played a game of telephone and you said the word Cheez-It and you went through 1,000 people and by the end it just, it just said, Jizz at the end, I like a whisper of the word cheese. It not much better. I I would never seek these out to eat. Um, they are a waste of time. I think this is actually the same flavor, but I got them anyway just in case. Uh, princess, but I think these are also just cheddar. So maybe it's actually fourteen flavors. Whatever. I'm not changing the title. You'll click on it more if it's 15 versus 14. Oh, these are like pink. Okay. So they're somehow less flavorful. And so I was like, that can't be right. They're both cheddar. So I compare the, the nutrition facts and these actually have a 1% less sodium and 1% less cholesterol. Yeah, a little bit more in terms of some vitamins. Um, so these are 1% healthier and 1% worse. Uh, they are almost the same, somehow even less memorable than these. The color is fun. I'll give them a plus for being pink, but that that's it. Here is a baked with whole grain cheddar. This could go either way. It could actually be a better version, even if it's healthier. And if it's not, then I have a whole fucking carton of these that I have to finish somehow. I'm just gonna... What is this for? To pour them straight into my mouth? These ones are slightly more brown. So if you watch the Cheez-Its video, there was like the extra toasty Cheez-It. That's essentially what this is like. Um, they're not bad because there's nothing about goldfish that are remarkable in any way. So this is like um, slightly toastier, slightly more grainy flavor of goldfish, but I, it's less salty because you taste more of the grain. Um, wouldn't recommend either, but I guess if you are dying to try, uh, these are, yeah, these are slightly healthier, but not necessarily worse. So, oh boy, I have a whole carton of these now. So I guess they were like, man, our crackers suck ass. Let's just make them pretzels instead. They are just pretzels shaped like goldfish. I'm not a big pretzel fan. And these are worse than other pretzels because usually with pretzels, they're nice and thin and crispy. So it's like, okay, like they're kind of boring, but they got a nice texture. These are too thick. It's just like bland cracker pretzel in a big bomb of bland and barely salted. Just like fucking ass pretzels. Like these are just like any other pretzel is better than this. God. I'm just begging for flavor. Please, please. Okay, let's get through some of these. Uh, here's another cheddar, but this is made with organic wheat. Um, non-GMO. Uh, I don't know what, I forget what non-GMO means. Like, non, no chemicals or something? I don't know. Um, all right. And these come in a plastic bag, because I'm sure that's more environmentally friendly. To make this even more frustrating, I tore the bag like it told me and it wouldn't tear right, so I had to go search for scissors to open something I don't even want to fucking eat. Oh boy, I bet these are gonna be very delicious. 
Imagine if cheddar goldfish were instead made of crumbly sand. That's what these are like. Texture's not great. Flavor's worse. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's try... This might be better. Veggie crackers sweet carrot. That sounds like flavor. Okay, these are still the orange flavor. I flavor, color. Yeah, they definitely taste like carrot. They're like su lightly sweet. They're not bad. They just kind of taste like baby food. All there is is just like a lightly sweet carrot flavor, which is fine. But I don't know if that's what I want in a goldfish cracker. So I'm conflicted. At least it tastes like something interesting, but it doesn't taste like something I really want to eat a lot of which is bait, carrot flavored baby food. Here we have cheesy tomato veggie crackers. These are a vibrant red. Yeah, they taste like tomato. Still kind of have that almost baby food like flavor. I don't really taste cheese. I guess there's a little bit of savory saltiness, but they're better than the carrot ones for sure. Tastes like baby's first pizza, like a pizza made for a baby. Definitely could not eat a lot of these either. I did buy a bunch of soups, because I think a bunch of these are just going to get dumped into soups. And this maybe go would go well with like a tomato soup, but I don't know. It, on its own, they're like weird baby. Babies, I think, would love these. I don't know. Maybe that's the target audience. I have no idea. Speaking of baby, baby. Uh, oh, cheddar. Oh, my God. At first, I thought this was like baby, ch like baby cheddar. Like, oh, maybe that might be an interesting flavor. No, they're just... Smaller goldfish. Oh boy. So they are considerably smaller. I guess I'll hold one up for a comparison. Regular baby. These actually taste slightly better, but how can there be so many varieties of a nothing flavor? That's wild to me. How did this company get away with such bland crackers for so many years? Also, the ingredients say made with smiles and enriched wheat flour. Really? Really, you think smiles are the most prevalent ingredient? Sounds like a bunch of malarkey to me. Take fucking ingredients seriously, Pepperidge Farm. Anyway, Parmesan. Now, Parmigiano Reggiano is one of, the, one of the most flavorful cheeses. Let's see how flavorful are these gonna be? By the way, these bags are Fucking agony to open. They're supposed to, I guess you're supposed to like open them into a stupid little thing like this, but they're just a fucking disaster. Oh my god. Alright. Parmesan! Alright, so these are pale white. They made an effort. There is a difference. It does not taste like Parmesan, but it tastes like the cheddar ones with like a little bit of onion powder. And when I say a little bit, I mean maybe three grains of onion powder. I mean, they're better than the cheddar ones, but these are still like a C minus or a D plus compared to that, the uh, F of the cheddar. Maybe, maybe if you've never tasted anything in your life, you might go, wow, this tastes, it tastes like something. But if you've ever had like actual food, um, uh, yeah, these, these taste like almost nothing. They taste like the... It's like it's like there's an onion on your windowsill and you're imagining what it tastes like. That's what these taste like. Now, I've had their weird tomato ones. I've had their cheese ones. Pizza! These have a little more darker orange. So compared to the tomato ones, these actually taste more like a pizza Pringle. But again, a pizza Pringle has 5,000 times more flavor than this. This is like um, if I uh, took a piece of pizza and I squished it face down into a paper plate. And then I was like, hey, lick this. That's what this would taste like. The pizza residue of a pizza slice. Just like hints of spices and a vague tomato flavor. I hate, I hate goldfish. We have four flavors left and I think <clears throat> these are the, these, only these can save the goldfish name. First off, we have Goldfish Grams, and this is Vanilla Cupcake. I mean, that sounds good. Also, they realized how shitty their bags were and just were like, open at the top. You know, like how they should have been. Oh, even this is a terrible bag. Okay, whatever. 
Okay, so these are just straight up cookies. And they're like, fuck it. The crackers didn't work. The pretzels were ass. Let's just make fucking cookie sheet like fish. Mmm! Flavor! These are flavorful compared- I, I feel like I've tasted for the first time. These are like, um... Crunchy, sweet, vanilla gingerbread cookies almost. I don't know about gingerbread, but it, I don't know. I feel like my tongue is just telling me things now. Because I just am experiencing, you know, sensation on my tongue for the first time. But yeah, they're like a nice crunchy texture. They're like very satisfying cookies. You know, they got a nice sweet vanilla flavor. Not too sweet, but sweet enough. Um, almost like a, yeah, like a ging gingerbread or cinnamon, like... Maybe that's like the brown sugar or whatever, but... Anyway, wow, these are like a completely different thing, like, and that helps. They're they're just straight up cookies shaped like fish, and they're not like all the other fucking shitty ass in insults to food that other goldfish crackers are. Now, the next three are flavor blasted. This is your last fucking chance, Pepperidge Farms. Flavor blasted extra cheddar. Really, I think this needs like. 20 extras to make up for the embarrassment of your previous follies. These don't even look more flavorful, but let's see. These taste better. They taste like a regular cheese cracker. Not a particularly good cheese cracker, mind you. They're still very one note, very just kind of like salt. Whereas I feel like a lot of other cheese flavored snacks have sort of like a tanginess or like a, you know, Something else going on. And these have a little bit of flavor powder on them. Perfectly tolerable. I would gladly eat these. If someone gave me the regular kind, I would slap them out of their hands and tell them to get out of my sight. But these... Pretty good. Pretty good. Maybe another addition of cheese will help. Flavor Blasted Cheddar Jacked. Ooh, these have a little bit of uh, flavor powder on them, if you can see that. I gotta say, these crackers are so starchy and like the the the, the all the cracker just gets in the way. I'm like I I never experienced that with other crackers. Other crackers, it's like the texture accentuates the flavor. These just get in the way. These are also pretty good. Just kind of like cheese with a slight hint of onion powder, but like again, perfectly tolerable. Um, but it's still very one note. Definitely better than these because there's a little bit of onion sweetness in this. But not much. But yeah, I mean, perfectly fine. Pretty good. And finally, Flavor Blasted Cheesy Pizza. These look like what the pizza ones should have looked like. I think these are definitely the best ones. They have a nice tomato -y flavor, and then this, and then just a whole bunch of spices. Like, have you ever had like a Little Caesars? I don't know if they still do this, because I haven't had Little Caesars in forever. They have like the Little Caesars like spice pack that you could pour over a pizza. That's what this tastes like. Tomato paste. Like, that spice pack, barely cheese, but most pizza-flavored stuff uh, doesn't really taste like cheese. I think these are definitely the best ones by far. They actually have, like, a decent amount of flavor variety going on. The cracker doesn't get in the way. This is the only one I would, like... No, I would never buy this, but if I had to buy a goldfish flavor, it would be this one. Um, the other flavor blasted ones are also pretty good. I mean, actually, the best ones are these. These are amazing in comparison. They're a completely different product. Uh, I would recommend, I would absolutely buy these again. These are actually pretty good. Flavor Blasted are decent. Everything else is boring dog shit. Don't even bother. What a waste of time. Uh, so I wasted my time so that you wouldn't have to waste yours. Um, anyway, that was this one. Um, gonna definitely be pouring a lot of these into soups. Or something. Fuck.